Hi everyone, welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy for the final time. This is part 18. So I'm excited but also really sad because this is going to be the last video in the playthrough. I'm going to get all of these side quests finished up today and then I think I'm just going to leave this playthrough there because that's all the main things that I wanted to get done done in this game. So let's just enjoy our final time in Hogwarts Legacy. So we have five side quests here in Hogsmeade. As I said in the last video, there is a sixth quest in Hogsmeade called Minding Your Own Business, but that is PlayStation exclusive and I am playing this on PC, so I cannot access that quest. And then we have 17 quests in the highlands so that's a lot but we're gonna we're gonna fly through them in this video and then what I also want to do in this video just to finish off the playthrough is test out the three unforgivable curses just to see what they do as well okay so I know there is one side quest in the three broomsticks so let's start off with that one I think Right, there she is. Let's see what her problem is. Pardon me, but were you saying something? Oh, hello. Talking to myself. I'm Clementine. Willetsy. Charmed. I was musing on the precious butterflies I see near the edge of the forest. Whenever I come near, they fly off into it. When I was at Hogwarts, we truly were forbidden from entering the forest told horrible stories about it, and I've had an irrationally intense fear of it ever since. It's silly, but I'm insatiably curious as to where the butterflies go in the forest. You couldn't possibly find out, could you? You want me to follow the butterflies? I do, yes, if you wouldn't mind. Oh my god, what a little easter egg to, um... Chamber of Secrets, when they're like, follow the spiders, and Ron's like, why couldn't it be follow the butterflies? I love it. Very well. If I have time, I shall see where they lead. Oh, how kind. Students these days have so much more courage than I ever did. You can usually find me right around here. I hope to see you soon. Cool. Okay, find the butterflies in the Forbidden Don't forget, Forest. The butterflies always seem to be on the fringes of the Forbidden Forest. Good luck. Okay. Folks still talk about you taking down that troll in the village circle. You certainly made an impression. Oh, that's good. I mean, look, in fairness, it was very impressive for a student to take down a troll, if I do say so myself. Oh, oh my god, look at that cat! <gasps> Oh my god! Oh, oh, it's just sitting there waiting for us. We have to. We have to pet it. I did actually come across quite a horrible video online um, where that showed that you can... So we know we can levitate the cat, but apparently you can levitate the cat and then I think to pulse them or something, so they go flying. I am not doing that. Oh my god, the poor cats. But um, just if you wanted to, you can fling the cat. <laughs> it's so mean. So, the butterflies. Right, yeah, let's just fast travel here. I mean, I think she could have come herself. Oh, they're literally, they're like a few steps into the forest. For goodness sake, she couldn't have come in here herself. Oh, well, that's scary. There they are. She wasn't oh. making it up. They're so pretty. Hey, come back. Oh, no. Well, we've come this far. Miss Willardsey might get an answer about these butterflies. Dugbog. Confringo! Finger! Uh. I don't think it can get me from up here. I'm kind of cheating, but I don't care. <laughs> oh, oh crap. Well, 
I didn't mean to do that. There we go. Right, where did uh Where'd the butterflies go? Hello? Oh, for goodness sake, where did they get to now? Uh, are they up here? What is this? Someone's having a candlelit dinner in the Forbidden Forest? I mean, I can think of much nicer places for a date, though. Uh, okay, that's just a wolf. Like, seriously, where are the butterflies? Oh, okay. I guess I took so long that they magicked back to the start. Okay, let's try it again. Right, so where did you go from here? Wait for me, guys. Where are you going? we have here that's so cool okay return to miss willardsy and i presume tell her so cool if you find and follow the butterflies then they lead you to hidden chests or something that's really cool oh please tell me you have an answer for me about the butterflies hello miss willardsy well what happened did you find them Oh, you can, uh, you can tell her or not tell her. Yeah, we'll tell her. They led me into the forest and revealed a treasure. Oh, how lovely! I'm glad you were rewarded for your efforts. Oh, perhaps one day I'll be able to bring myself to go into the forest. For now, I'm happy simply knowing there's something so lovely to see, should I dare. Aw. Well, I mean... You hardly even go into the forest, though. So, you know, surroundings at the Hog's Head. Should learn to decorating myself before you be a bit in. braver. You just need to step, like literally, step into the tree line, and the butterflies are there. <laughs> anyway, I need to get over it. Okay, and I wanted to check out in my gear as well what I picked up in the last video. So, thank you so much to Iga who. Let me know that I could find them by using the appearance option. There, okay, so doing the Dedalian, Dedalian, whatever, the keys thing, and I got my common room house chest. I got this robe. So, uh. That doesn't look right. There we go. <laughs> I was like, what robe did they put on me? Um, so yeah, this looks awesome. That is so cool. I really like that. Um, I'm actually going to keep that on. Yeah, I like that one. Look how cool we look. I love it. Okay, so where is the next quest? What will I do without her? Oh. We're on the brink of something big, I tell ya. Hello. Is something the matter? Most decidedly, yes. My precious moon calf biscuit was abducted by poachers up north. Oh. oh, the vicious brutes. I tried to fight back, but I was no match for them. I'm sorry about your moon calf, Mr. Garnuff. Just Garnuff. I'm only one goblin. Not a particularly brave one at that. I have no chance against a pack of bloodthirsty poachers. Oh, my poor biscuit. I can only hope she's able to escape. We'll get Biscuit back. I'll keep an eye out for your moon calf, Garneth. Oh, 
How kind. If only all of Wizard Kind was as gracious to goblins. If you do see her and can bring her safely home to me, I promise to reward you for your efforts. Oh, we don't need a reward. We just do keep an want eye to out save for her. the new car. And be careful out there. Poachers are an unscrupulous lot. I should try and rescue Garnoth's moon calf. Sounds as if I'd need to head north to find those poachers. Let's go. Where are they? Let me at them. Oh, right. They're all the way in the Forbidden Forest. In the bog? <gasps> I'll kill them. I'll kill them all. <laughs> I'll save Biscuit. Okay, so find the poacher camp where Biscuit is being held. No problem. Poachers! Garnif was right then. I had better be careful. Okay. You know what? We're just gonna kill them all. We're just gonna kill them all. Just because I'm a poacher doesn't mean I dislike beasts. We had a knees or Uh it kinda seems oh, like you do like. dislike beasts. You can bring us. We would have had those. Am I supposed to? Slippery as a kelpie, they say you are. Don't look much to me. My spells are taking so long to load. I don't know. I haven't played this in a while, so why is that bubble empty? Uh, maybe I'm just like super rusty with combat. them all okay definitely a bit rusty with combat i haven't played this in uh i don't know a couple of weeks or something it's crazy just been so crazy busy. uh biscuit <gasps> biscuit <gasps> oh my god look at all these moves. oh my god that makes me so sad Oh my god, look how cute they are! They're all just standing there. I'm actually getting really upset. Like, I can't believe anyone would do this. I know it's a game, but I still can't believe anyone would do this. Look how cute they are! Which one's Biscuit? I'm taking you all. I'm taking you all. <laughs> I don't care. I'll take all of you plus Biscuit. And I'll keep the rest of you and give Biscuit back. Now then, which one of you is Biscuit? Biscuit? No! Wait, you- No! Hang on. Hang on a second now. Do cooperate, won't you? Did I get Biscuit? This is Biscuit. Alright, Biscuit. Oh! Let's get you back to Garnoff, shall we? Oh, it's so cute! Oh, but I want you all! Okay, no, guys, seriously, you all come back here. Never 
Everything's all right now. <gasps> a dog bug? No! Where's the rest of the moon cuffs? That's why I needed to take the moon calves away from here. Did I get them all? I'm not leaving until I know I, I have them all. <gasps> there. I missed two. Oh crap. No, guys, please come back. Please. Please, 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 please. Settle yourself, Revelio. Okay, there's one more. I got you. I got you. Levioso. Okay, I think I rescued all of the moon calves. So we're gonna return Biscuit to his owner and then we are going to release the others into the room of requirement because it's too dangerous for them to be here. Those duck bogs could attack them or they could get recaptured. I'm not having it. Don't you fret, Biscuit. I shall sort something out. Oh. Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have? Oh, is she hurt? Oh, it's she. Oh, is she frightened? Mm. Are you all right? Biscuit is fine, as am I. I was able to rescue her without much incident. Oh, mercy. Where poachers are concerned, I tend to expect the worst. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. Oh. Would she be happier with her friends, though? In the vivarium? I mean, I hope. He treats her well and she's genuinely happy being his pet. Oh, now I don't know. I kind of want to keep her, but... Yeah, okay, we'll, we'll give her back, I guess. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. My wise, noble mm. moon calf. And here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, you have restored my faith in wizard kind. Oh. You've restored at least a modicum of my faith in wizard kind. Biscuit and I can't thank you enough. Oh, well, where's Biscuit, though? Like, we didn't actually give her back. <laughs> okay. Um, sure, look. Let's go release... Uh, ooh, release these moon calves. Okay. So we're going to... Go ahead here. Moon calf. Oh, moon calf. I brought you some friends. Hey, Niffler. Uh, oh, there you are, moon calf. What's up? Okay, so I brought you some friends. Are you excited? You look very excited. I can tell. I can tell. Okay. I actually can't like I'm not okay I can't, I can't cope with how cute this is but they're all just looking at me okay so have fun have fun guys I hope you're happy I hope you're happy here and you're safe and there's some puff skeins here hey guys and there's one jobber and all oh hang on there's another puff skein I caught a few of them 
Um, and then there's, oh my god, look at them moving around in a pack. They're so cute. <laughs> oh, and then I have one Niffler. Um, so I do need to get more Nifflers, but oh my god, that's so flipping cute. Look at them, they're so happy. Are you guys happy? Oh, I love them so much. And I just realized that I still have my grap horn. Take things. You should be so, proud of all the potions you brewed. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I just I wasn't listening properly when he said that line and it sounded like he just shouted out something else that began with D. I was like, what? Anyway, okay, that's just me being deaf. Right. So, sorry, why am I going to the swamp? Where's the beach again? Oh, it's up here. Yeah. Right. Hey, hippogriffs. What's up? Okay. So we're gonna release, release him. Hey! Are you happy here now? Are you happy? I think you are. Can I brush you? Oh my god, you can brush him! That's so funny! Oh, he likes getting brushed! Oh, he's just a big baby, isn't he? He's just a big baby at the end of the day. You're a good boy. I love you. Okay, everyone, have fun. I need to go back to side quests. Is everything alright? Oh, bless you! Oh, thank you for asking. I'm Betty. Betty Bugbrook. And no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend, Hazel. Oh, she's in trouble. Hazel? Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. Her coat is... Glorious! Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves! What? Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. Um. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. Yeah. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, you've a good soul. I can always tell. Please, don't risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most beautiful coat of her mm. entire herd. We'll find her. Remember, you'll know her by her brilliant coat. Oh, and be warned, she's a stubborn girl. She may need some convincing to come with you. I need to look for a unicorn oh. with a beautifully bright coat. It sounds as if she's in trouble. So we need to, like, kidnap her. Okay. Right, so where is she? Um, right, fast travel. I haven't seen a unicorn in this game. I'm excited. Hmm, I think I have to go down here. Hey, oh. Looks like we're close. Revelio. Come on, Hazel. <laughs> Hazel, where are you? <laughs> Hazel must be here somewhere. Where are the unicorns? Oh, they're just deer. 
Who cares? <laughs> Where's the key? Oh. Mm, centaurs. Oh, hang on. Maybe I should go to that little diamond. Have you guys seen unicorns? Anywhere? God. Okay, I've got my bag ready. Rebellion. <gasps> she oh oh the order oh, there's just so many of them. Which one is she? Let me answer. You don't look very shiny, but I'll take you. No. no need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Was that Hazel? Professor Howen will never believe this. No. That wasn't Hazel. I got a different unicorn. Um Hazel? Hazel. Oh, where did the flippin' unicorns go? <sighs> Maybe I should be invisible. Avelia. Hazel. <gasps> I see one there. Hey Hazel, oh you look very shiny. Levy. You look very shiny, are you Hazel? Yes you are. Oh! No. Now, now, I'm only trying to help. Hazel. Come back now, stop being ridiculous. Hazel! Hazel! <laughs> Hazel, stop! Oh my god, I'm only trying to help. I- stop it. Right, see, she keeps seeing me. And running. So, I think I need to be a bit more stealthy with this. Hazel. Avelia. Where the flippin' hell did she go? Hazel. Oh, she fell over. Yes, gotcha. <laughs> I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugbrook know she's safe. Oh, okay, so we can keep her. We can put her in the vivarium. That's nice. Okay. Uh, maybe we'll put her out in this one. There's more room. We'll put them with the phoenix. Where's the phoenix? Did I run? Yeah, I just ran past it. Okay. So, and we, we caught her a unicorn. A unicorn friend. Aww. Have fun, you guys. Run free. Aw, they're so pretty. Hazel is so shiny. She is so shiny. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend, Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? We're both fine, and I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You've a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away from the poachers. <gasps> do give her a nice brushing for me, won't you? Aww. I will. Take good care of Hazel now. I will, I promise. 
Oh, that was a really nice quest. I enjoyed that one a lot. I enjoyed the last two, the moon calves and the unicorn. They were really, really cool. Okay, there's- oh, there's a quest in here. Pardon me? Hello. Is there something I can help you with? How do you do? I'm Sacharissa Tugwood. Oh, her hair is so cool. I have an exciting cool. business proposition for you. Now, it may surprise you to learn that someone of my obvious esteemed lineage would be in business. But I only want to help the less fortunate. <laughs> How condescending. Yeah, kind of, a little bit. It kind of came across as, since I'm so much better than other people, I want to help them. <laughs> yeah, maybe we people of low lineage don't need your help. Sakarissa. How magnanimous. <laughs> oh, there's more. You see, I've been experimenting with a new beauty cream. A cream mm. that will rid our glorious school of the hideous, greasy pustules plaguing our poor pubescent classmates. But I've run out of the key ingredient, boobatuba pus. Boobatubas do grow in the forbidden forest, however. If only I could pay someone to collect a few for me. I'm of two minds about this one. Because I am someone who suffered my whole life with cystic acne, like really, really bad. Um, I had to eventually go to a dermatologist and take Roaccutane to get rid of my cystic acne. So I know how horrible it is to live with. I lived with it all my teenage life and some of my 20s. So like a cream that could fix it would be great. But the way she talked about it was so horrible. Yeah, I'm not sure if I like her or not. And the way she she said that people who have acne are like less fortunate or something. I don't know. You are more than how you look. You are more than, you know, how clear your skin is. That, that hit a nerve. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, that hit a nerve. But fine, we'll help her because it's a, it's a side quest. I can try and find some for you if I have the time. Marvellous. I'd go myself, but I don't want to. I only need a few booba tubers, but they grow wild, so you'll have to look around. Oh my god. Our spotty classmates are counting on you, so you mustn't tarry. Into the forbidden forest for booba tubers. Mm, I hope it's worth the risk. Do you know what? She gives the same energy as all the people who used to say to me uh have you tried washing your face <laughs> yeah you can tell you can tell it still hurts it still hurts um wow like it would be one thing if she was like i'm making this cream it's gonna hopefully really help people and boost their confidence or whatever but no the way she's talking about it i'm like screw you Screw you. People are not ugly because they have acne. Anyway, let's just go do the side quest. I'm getting really, like, really worked up about this. <laughs> wow, okay. Um, I guess this one's kind of the closest. Yeah. But I'm gonna find the plant because if this cream this is she's where making... This said to go. Now, where are those booba tubers? Just my Ooh. luck. A troll. Oh my god. Okay. Right. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna help her make the cream. Because having acne can have such a detrimental effect on your confidence and your mental health. So I'm gonna help her make the cream. But I'm not happy with her. I'm not happy with her at all right let's try and oh god let's try and avoid this troll because i'm not dealing with that uh... right where am i going okay oh <gasps> What is that? Oh god. Uh, 
I don't even know what booba tubers are. I don't even know what they look like. Find booba tubers zero out of five. Zero out of five, where are they? Oh, what's that in there? Hang on. Excuse me, let me in. Oh, is this it? Oh, that smells awful. Only four more, thank goodness. What is going on here? Pavelia. I've seen you riding around with filthy centaurs rescuing snidgets. Sorry, are they talking to me? Uh, sorry. Oh, hang on. Is there one around here? Oh, there is. They're in here with the troll. That should do it. I'd better get back to Sakurissa now. Bye bye. <laughs> right, Console. let's head back. Must have been quite stately in its time. Sakurissa, I found the booba tubers you needed. Splendid. I hope it wasn't too much trouble. May I have them? Of course. Happy to have found them for you. Thank you. And your payment, of course. Now I can begin perfecting my potion to save our poor pimply peers. <sighs> Don't know who should be more grateful. I or our unsightly spotty classmates. One day the wizarding world will know my name. And you will have been a small part of it. What an absolute bitch. <laughs> I'm sorry, she is an absolute bitch. She's acting like people with acne or spots are the ugliest, most unsightly people in the world. She seems to have no empathy at all. I hate her. I absolutely hate her. If you've been through it yourself, then you know why I'm so angry. It's something that really, really affects you and your mental health. What an absolute bitch. Right, I need to go calm down. <laughs> I need to go calm down and do something else. Cause, uh, Let's sorry, see, it was where, a mistake oh, parting ways with me. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our Herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. Sounds like he was right then. Yeah, I can see why. Well, I mean, I can. I can see why he said that. You do seem angry. Of course I'm angry now. In large part due to his absurd overreaction to what is simply passion for my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling mm. that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? Do you know what? I'm feeling pretty good about it. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvelous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Cool, will do. Okay, oh, the cellar, the cellar's right here in, in Hogsmeade. 
kita tadi. This must be it. This must be the cellar. Now to find that venomous tentacular. Uh, I presume we shouldn't be seen. Better not let Mr. Lawley see me. <gasps> Could be stirring in the cellar. Crap. Spiders. Yes, I am a spider. <gasps> Where is that venomous tentacular? Hello, Mora. Did I just go around in a circle? I don't know. My god! How big is his cellar? <gasps> Stop. Ah, oh, there it is. Now that I have the venomous tentacular, I should return to Mr. Barnes. Okay, oh, can I... Can I get out here? Spiders going in where I just was. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get out of here. I don't like it in here. Ooh. Yeah, this is how you have to get out. Go, 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 go. Uh, how do I get out? Oh, that was weird. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Hello, Mr. Barnes. I have that venomous tentacular. Huh. Wish I could see Lawley's face when he realizes his prized possession is gone. We'll see who's volatile now. Well done. Still you, I'll I think. I'll take it off your hands now. Of course. Glad to hand it over, frankly. I shall make an ocean of galleons, and Lawley's business will be sunk. <laughs> Here's a little something for your next trip to Zonko's. Oh, to see the look on Lawley's face the next time he wanders down to his cellar. Okay, I got dragon hide herbologist gloves. Cool. Okay, so that is all of the quests in Hogsmeade. So now... We'll start making our way through the highlands, okay? And I'm going to start with this kind of second section of the map first. So we'll get all these done and then we'll move our way in. Oh, up here. Oh, I see them. The Ashwinders cannot be allowed to run roughshod over our way of life. Is everything all right, madam? Olivier, Madam Olivier, and no, everything is not all right. The vermin known as the Ashwinders have infested nearby Klagmar Castle, disrupting not only our sense of peace, but our valuable trade. 
It appeared that they were finally going to slither away until Sylvanas Selwyn arrived. Sylvanas Selwyn? Head rat. My guess is that if mm. someone were to take out Selwyn, the rest of the Ashwinders would disperse. But Selwyn is a skilled wizard. I certainly can't take care of him myself. Believe me, I wish I could. I'm at my wit's end. So you want us to murder him for you. I'm game. I could take care of Selwyn for you. Goodness, no. I'd never ask a student to confront Selwyn. But I'm offering a nice bounty on his head. Feel free to put the word out. I'll take the bounty. I only want Cragcroft to go back to normal. I'm tired of living under the thumb of Selwyn and his cronies. Gotcha. Let's go. Sounds as if Sylvanas Selwyn has to go. Oh wow, this is a big, big this must fortress. must be the castle that Sylvanas Selwyn and his thieves are in. If I can just get to him, I should be able to disband the group. Gotcha. Stealth to find him. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot of people. I don't feel bad fleecing those cape flappers in Cragcroft. If someone's plan works out, you suppose we'll all be rich? Right. Uh... I've no idea what Selwyn... There's Selwyn. I wonder if I can pull his guards away. Where? Oh, that's him. Pull his guards away? Rookwood should never have put Selwyn in charge. Although I suppose Selwyn is better than Harlow. for you. Oh, I'm going. I'm going. Oh, I'm going. I would say that Iron is not an appropriate one. Have you heard any news about Sylvana Selwyn? Talk him out. Selwyn has been taken care of. You defeated Selwyn? Merlin's beard. A student took down one of Rookwood's top filth. Then I suppose this bounty is yours. Well deserved. It actually wasn't difficult at all, though. <laughs> I'm glad I could help protect Cragcroft and the Ashwinders. The thieves will finally leave us alone. Thanks to you. You're welcome in Cragcroft any time. It's such a pleasant place when it's not being threatened by Ashwinders. Cool. My robes are awesome. Look at how shiny they are. Hmm. Well, this is the manor where we fought Harlow. There should be a quest around here somewhere. A castle. Must have been quite stately in its time. Ah!
I going the right way at all? Stop. Got a bad set of spells selected. Oh, what? Okay, here's the chest. Alohomora. Is that literally this quest? Is to just find this chest? I am so confused right now. Oh, okay. So it is. It's, it's this treasure map then. Okay, cursed tomb treasure quest started. But then, solved by the bell. I didn't start this quest. Where did this quest come from? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I don't know if my game glitched or something, but... Oh well. No, nope, not dealing with it. So, how, where does this map lead? Uh, okay, so. Something like, that looks like a Merlin trial. So a nearby Merlin trial and some kind of flipendo. It looks like some kind of river. A Merlin trial and there. But like what does that mean? Where is that? The map portrays stone monoliths near a waterfall along with a series of floor tiles. Oh, it's a waterfall. Okay. Hang on, there's a waterfall there. Is that a waterfall? Oh, hang on, there is a waterfall here. Uh, is it on top of the waterfall? No, I can't go up there. Okay, so stone monuments near a waterfall. Maybe there's more than one waterfall. I have no idea. I'm going to have to leave this one. Um, and this one, solved by the bell. I don't know where that quest came from. I haven't spoken to anyone about that, but... It just says find item. I'm so confused by these quests. I don't know what's going on. But sure, look, we'll just go with it. We'll go to where it's telling me to go. And I'll come back to that treasure map one at the end. Um, and try and figure it out. Because I, I can't find it. But no one sent me 
to find this item. This place. You let Nora Treadwell go, didn't you? You're about to wish you hadn't. <gasps> what went on here, I wonder? Such a look of fear in your eyes. Eh? I should think an ant should be Okay, it's it's saying to go down. Oh, that's a dead person. I'll get you for what you did to Iron. Knowing our meat, he's way. likely studied here. Uh, this is not the time, me. Oh jeez. Um Oh what's the long uh, Let's just let's just go. Woo. Yeah, they killed someone. Rude. We'll find you eventually. Will you find item? Where? Oh, hang on. There's stairs here. Maybe it's maybe it's down. Henrietta's hideaway. Okay. Where in Merlin's name am I? Maybe no one gives you this task. Maybe you just have to find the hideaway. There we go. Oh. Ashwinders. Yeah, I'm not fighting them. I just want to find my item. What was that sound? Oh, up here. Ooh. I see you. No. No, you don't. What a dreadful oh. Did he just get dragged into the wall? More ash winders. Oh, I'm not even invisible anymore. What am I doing? This isn't gonna work. I think I'm gonna have to take them out. They're not the right spells. Oh. 
did go to Amsterdam. That's cool. That's good to know. Oh! Okay, that took a while. At least now I can look around in peace. Oh! Uh... Right, okay. What are we doing now? Oh, here. Oh, another map. Oh, f actually, flip off. What's this? Some sort of treasure map? Okay, so I guess I didn't have to talk to anyone about that either. Uh, I'm not happy. I'm not happy. Okay, so I seem to be actually on that place in the map. Hang on. Oh, sugar. Yeah, I think... So I'm meant to be somewhere in the middle. There's maybe like a castle or a ruin with bells. Like in and around here-ish. Let's just go and have a look and see. I am not happy with it though. I see you! Go away. Any bells? Let's finish this job and be done with it. Any bells? We lived here. I don't care what you put me. What about this? No. 
Oh! A dragon skeleton. Cool. That's really cool. Hang on, this is out on an island on its own. Maybe it's here. This looks intriguing. Oh, here's a pleasant surprise. What? Oh, she's talking about the the Merlin trial. No, I'm looking for bells. Okay, let's hope this is a straightforward quest. What if he's lonely? Hello, madam. Is everything all right? I'm simply beside myself since Rococo ran away. He's my pet Niffler. Oh! I'm sorry to hear that your pet is missing. Thank you. I appreciate your words. I mean, I've had him for years. He's lovely company. Whilst on our morning constitutional the other day, south of here, he and I stumbled upon Henrietta's hideaway. They say that Henrietta was a paranoid recluse, filled her castle with all manner of traps to keep thieves from pinching her valuables. As we drew near, the morning sun reflected off something there? in the window, and before I knew it, Rococo was off. Oh, I've been worried sick, but I'm not about to meddle with Merlin knows what's inside that house, or the Ashwinders that are lurking about. I'll keep an eye out for Rococo. Oh, that's terribly kind. But stay away from the hideaway. Far too dangerous. If someone does find him in the hideaway, they shall be well rewarded. Henrietta's treasures are theirs for the taking. She certainly won't mind now. Oh, for Flip's sake, we were just there. I should be going now. Thank you. We were just freaking there. Now to go back and get Rococo, although he's adorable. That hideaway does sound intriguing. Perhaps I should investigate, for Rococo's sake. I hope the Ashwinders haven't done anything with Rococo. Oh, I hope not either. At least now we know where to go. That's the main thing. They don't see mm. Lower Hogsfield needs some stocks after hours. Alright, some nice flash. Take us. Get away. You little coward. Rococo. Did I? <gasps> um. Actually, this is probably a good time to try out some unforgivable curses. What do you say? Right, so let's try out Crucio. Okay, that was... That one's like really evil. Ooh. Ah, recharge. It takes so long to recharge. attack their own Expulsion. enemies and then let's try out Avada Kedavra. Handy. These 
horses are super handy. I do enjoy them. It's nice to be evil sometimes. Take that. They do take so long to recharge, though. That's the worst part. Recharge, please. Recharge. A lucky shot. It's really cool. I want to share my victory. Really, really cool. Okay. Okay. Our treasure. Ah. My cocoa must have been through here. Arresto momentum. Works. Oh, more ashwinders. Oh, I took these out earlier. It's all good. But yeah, those uh, unforgivable curses are pretty handy, uh, I have to say. So I'm glad I use them now and know what they do. But where did I go again? Where's flipping Rococo? There's one in here. Oh! Oh, of course. Of course, we found this one the last time. I just didn't remember. Okay. No, oh, let me out. We have to go at the top, I guess. I'm so frustrated with this right now. <laughs> so frustrated with this. Okay, no. You know, it's worth it to save a Niffler, but... I'm kind of annoyed. Let me right, and then... Oh! <gasps> okay, did we get the Niffler now? Has to be. Oh, look at his little trail of coins. It's so cute. Let's pick them all up. Oh! Come on, Rococo. You know you're in here. This Niffler is a tricky one. Oh, there he is! Okay! Do cooperate, won't you? Oh, come on. Yay! We got Rococo. Professor Howard never realized how tiring it can be to capture a Niffler. Oh, ooh, a chest. Okay, return to Agnes with her Niffler. Gladly. Can't believe I had to come in here twice. 
I'm so angry. Miss Coffee, I found your Niffler. Oh goodness, really? Oh, thank you. You're very brave. I was at my wit's end. How's my sweet Rococo? May I have oh. him back? For a fee, I'm keeping him. That's so mean. Of course she I'm can sure have him. he'll be happy to go home. He will. Oh, my brave little explorer. My greedy, greedy boy. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to get him home. Thank you again Aww. for what you did. From now on, I'll keep Rococo on a lead whenever we go out. Okay, don't, don't like, keep him too restricted, though. Poor Niffler. Hey, kitty! Poor Niffler. I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. May I have a moment of your time? Pardon? Were you calling to me? I was. I'm Marianne Moffat. Pleasure. At the moment, I'm having a great deal of trouble trying to find a particular Derricol. My god, everyone's having beast trouble. Ah yes, the magical bird can disappear when it senses danger. Peculiar things, aren't they? Did you know that muggles call them dodos? <laughs> Such <laughs> a funny name. I'm worried about a large albino derricol known as Gwenaira. She's oh. a local legend, so of course poachers are after her. If I had her, I'd treat her like a queen. And I could use her molted feathers as fashion accessories. Uh, I think I'm gonna keep this Diracol, but I won't tell her that for the more moment. more concerned with the feathers than the bird. But she'd be safer with you than with poachers. Indeed. They'd pluck her feathers and likely kill her when they were through. I can't seem to rescue her, and I'm worried the Diracols don't trust me since I've been hanging about their den. Yeah, you're gonna pluck her feathers and use them for jewellery. I'm not giving her the Diracol. I'll keep an eye out for a large white Diracol. Oh, thank you. Those gorgeous feathers. And she'd be safe. One last thing. She seems to spend her days in hiding. I've only ever seen her at night. I do hope you're able to save her. Be prepared to chase her. I sometimes wonder if she actually enjoys the pursuit. Or maybe she just... Wants you to get the hell away from her. Looking out for those poor Diracles. <laughs> well, uh, it's night time now, so let's go get her. <gasps> oh, is that it there? That tree. That tree thing. Okay. This must be the Diracol den that Miss Moffat told me about. Now, where is Gwenaira? Right, I'm gonna have to sneak up on it. Hmm. Right. Uh, oh, is that... Is that her there? That white one. Gwenaira, that's her. Okay. Let me... <laughs> Yes, I got her. Got her. Now I need to let Miss Moffat know. Uh, do I? I'm not giving her the Dara call. I'm gonna put it in my vivarium. Oh, hello. Any luck finding Gwenaira? Miss Moffat, I caught Gwenaira. That's incredible. Was it terribly difficult? No. Not too bad, if you know what you're doing. Don't be so humble about it. Well, may I have her now? I'm keeping her. Actually, I think she'll be safer with me. But it was my idea to rescue her. I'm the one who fell in love with her beautiful plumage. Oh, the cheek. So, now what shall I do? Without her feathers, I can't finish any of my fashion designs. Good. You traitorous foul napper. <laughs> I hope she picks your eyes out. 
I hope you get your eyes pecked out. Horrible person. Come on, Granira. We're gonna go to the vivarium. Okay, so I put the other Derekal out here. Derekal. Would you like a friend? I brought you a friend. There you go. Oh, she's much bigger than you. But yeah, now you have a friend. Are you happy? Are you happy? I, I, I think they're happy. Uh, maybe they're they're just like happy on the inside. They don't show it. Oh, having a good nap. So cute. I'm happy. I'm happy with my decision. She did not deserve that dear call. She was gonna pull her feathers out. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Right, back to it. Okay, my quest is here. Retrieve the rolled parchment from the table in Cider Castle. Haven't a clue why there's such a fuss over poaching. Well, again, this is one of those ones where it's like I haven't been told to go here by anyone. I don't know. It's so weird. Okay, fine. I'll I'll steal it. Okay. Hmm. The location marked on the map isn't far from here. Are you freaking kidding me? Is that back in Henrietta's freaking hideaway? Do I have to go back there again? Oh my god. That's that big flipping statue that we saw in there, isn't it? I'm losing my mind. Okay. I mean, there should be no one left in here, so it should be okay. Should have expected company. Wait, is that the hippogriff from my treasure map? Okay. Fire, fire, fire. Oh, put it out. Put out the fires. Okay. Okay. What now? Oh, do I have to light up the right ones? Okay, so there, there, and there, and there. Confringo! Woo! Perfect. Let's see what we've got. Okay, oh, but this one lit up. Places. Perfect. Let's see what we've got. Is it, is that right? Oh, oh, it opened this. Okay. This must be what all the fuss was about. Is that it? Oh, for goodness sake. Okay, right, whatever. Done now. I am so sick of this hideaway. So a bit of land with a little strip sticking out. Oh, hang on. This whole thing. I was looking, I was looking small. This whole thing is kind of a leg of land. And this is the island. Oh my god, how did I not see that? I was looking too small. I was looking too small. Okay, so right in the center. 
there should be a ruin or something. Yeah, right there. Okay. Maybe, maybe we can actually solve these. I hope so. Perhaps not the best place to be caught alone. Okay, bells. This looks like the spot from the treasure map. I can't believe I actually found it. Okay. So where are the bells? Oh, there they are. <gasps> yes. Yes. Oh, I'm so happy and relieved. Okay, so that shows what notes they are, I think. So, let me see. So the first spell we hit is the second one from the bottom, then the fifth one from the bottom, then the seventh, then the sixth. And I used to, I used to do music. I used to play the violin when I was in school. If I remember correctly, the fully filled in ones are like one beat and if it's like kind of white in the center, does that mean two beats? So do we hit it twice? Uh, okay, nine, eight. I think I've got it. I hope I do this right. So, two. Five, six, seven, six, nine. Perhaps the map contains clues about the order I'm supposed to ring the bells in. Did that just start playing the Harry Potter theme song? I got so distracted. Okay, sorry, I'll try again. about the order I'm supposed to ring the bells in. Okay, so that symbol might mean hold for two beats, I think, but I think I only hit the bell once. I think I was trying to get too fancy with it. Okay, let me try it now. was the Harry Potter theme tune as well. Oh, I love it. Okay, so where's my prize? Oh, it's here. And look, treasure. A new coat. Okay. That was really cool. I liked that. That was a nice Easter egg. Okay, I'm happy I solved it. Okay, where the hell? So it's a waterfall. Oh, hang on. That would be a waterfall there, wouldn't it? Yeah, let's just let's just fast travel here and then just have a look around. Wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Okay, that's some kind of tomb. Okay, so this this is a this is a big ass waterfall. Rebellion. So it said on top of the waterfall should be kind of 
stones and stuff. Okay, so if this is a big mass of waterfall, then maybe I go in here. Tomb of Treachery. on these are the these are the things right here so I've already done this Merlin trial but where are the tiles there's no telling what lies in wait for me in there is it in here Considering the bones, I'll assume this is a tomb. Chithana and Fotin, our clients have indicated that one of their ancestors may have been entombed, but part of the family fortune. They're concerned that the tomb may be cursed. Please go to the location on the map. Break whatever curses you may find and retrieve any valuables. You may write to me personally should you need anything. Okay, and then the clues on the map. Is that how we break the curse? Is this the quest I'm supposed to do? I'm not really sure. But, look, we'll just go with it. It's hard for me to tell because I went there before and did the Merlin trial. So I think I maybe triggered all the helpful prompts already. Yeah, we'll see anyway. <gasps> Stop. <gasps> Okay. Brilliant. The first piece of the puzzle. Must be something around here I can find. I literally have no idea if I'm, I'm doing down. the right Here thing. Go. Huh. Why is this door locked? Okay. 
Okay. Please be the right thing. Success. In theory, what are they protecting? Yes! Okay. Nine rocks on the map. Where are they? Oh my god, they're on the floor. For flip's sake. Oh! Okay. Right, they should be facing up. And it should be one on either side, one on top. Okay. That was not worth it, but whatever. <laughs> it's done. Okay, so let's get maybe a couple more quests here done. And then I think I need to take a little break. I've been playing for so long. I got stuck for ages on those map ones. So um, yeah, I'll do a couple more, then I'll take a break. Okay, I think there's oh, this woman. Fascinating, truly fascinating. Wish I had the energy. Excuse me, madam. I thought I heard you say something. <laughs> yes, indeed. Talking to myself again. I find myself to be quite the engaging conversationalist since my <laughs> husband passed. Aww. Madam Althea Twiddle, pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you too, Madam Twiddle. You know, you might be interested in this. You young people love this sort of thing. My husband often ruminated on the mysterious statue just outside our hamlet. Some sort of archaic puzzle involving vases, he would insist. I stumbled upon it today when I had a burst of energy and extended my morning constitutional a bit longer than usual. An archaic puzzle? Sounds fascinating. You see, I suspected you'd be interested and wait till I tell you about the rumours surrounding this particular puzzle. My husband Greville insisted that solving the puzzle would reveal a magical challenge of sorts. The man was intrigued by everything. He was about to try and solve it himself when... <sighs> Perhaps you could oh. take a look. I'd be rather interested to hear what, if anything, you find. Cool. If I happen to see it, I'll have a look. Ah, the spirit of youth. I do hope you'll be able to solve the puzzle. If not for me, then in Greville's memory. Oh, Cool, let's go find it. Um, I think I'm actually going to... I should look into the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Yeah, we're doing that, okay? Um, I think I'm actually going to take off the robe because, I don't know, it's quite sunny and nice here and it just doesn't seem to fit. This looks like the statue Madam Twiddle mentioned. Is there enemies here? I don't think so. Okay. Why are there so many vases around here? Oh no, I know what this is. No, I know what this is. I found... I found one of these when I was exploring off camera. It's a battle arena. I think this is how your husband died. They're so hard. I don't have to actually do it though, do I? I better I not have I should to. try to find all the vases. Not happy. I 
think there should only be a few more vases. Revelio. Confringo. Oh, okay. That doesn't work. We're nearly finished. Only one more vase. Revelia. It's just behind there. I'm not doing the battle arena, so just stop. That's it. I should tell Madame Twiddle about what happened. Okay. Good. I don't have to do it. Thank you. Oh my gosh. No, because I did one of those off camera and it's basically like five rounds and you just get tons of enemies including 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 like massive spiders and Wonder everything. I'm safe to explore in that. Just not just not able for it right now. I want to have a fun time with quests. I've done my battles. <laughs> Mrs. Twiddle, your husband was right. The statue was part of a puzzle. Oh, really? How exciting! Yes, I had to destroy a number of large vases, and that seemed to activate some sort of charm on the statue. Well done! Oh, I miss having someone like you around with a thirst for knowledge and a quick mind. Well, my curiosity has been satisfied. Thank you for that. Who knows what I'll encounter on my next constitutional. <laughs> oh, my husband would be so pleased to know he was right about that statue. Aww. Oh, sweet woman. Okay, and I think there was another quest just down here. If one more person asks me about her... Uh, Ooh, the scent, do you see? After her, Phyllis. Pardon me, sir. Come to stare at the fool, have you? There's poor Ig Haggerty, robbed by his own sister. Ah, uh, she's robbed almost everyone now. So, who's the fool? I... I'm not sure I know what you're talking about. Then you're the only one who doesn't know about Catherine running off with that thief, Victor Rookwood and his lot. Good riddance, I said. Never thought she'd return a steal from me. But us, but I just know it was her. I want her caught and sent to Azkaban for stealing a prize family heirloom. Sister or no. Oh, yikes. I could keep an eye out for the thief, sir. You? <laughs> Nothing to be done by the likes of us. This is a job for the fine officer singer or officer some such Singer's authority. Useless. Besides, the thief, my sister, only strikes at night. Coward. Long past your bedtime. Beg your pardon. I should be going now. Thank you. I'd keep an eye Rude. on your belongings if I were you. Cratering or steal the eyebrows. Or... I ought to look into this thievery business for Mr. Haggerty once night falls. Okay, well, let's make it night and do it now. A pile of gold. I must be on the right track. It looks as if the thief took more than they could carry. Oh. Is the thief a niffler? It's you. Oh, I can't thank you enough for rescuing my dear Isco. He often speaks of the great... Was it... this way? Right, the thief's a niffler. <laughs> huh. It over here. Revelia. More gold. I must be getting closer. 
This is definitely it. Oh my god, he was going to turn his sister into Azkaban. But it wasn't even her, it was a freaking Nickler. I betcha. Thank you for making me the first one. Huh? Who is it? Hello? Whoops. Oh, do you know what? You Let's just suffer. get him. <laughs> I love it. Okay, right. There's gonna be a Niffler around here somewhere. Rebellion. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. What? Stuck on a rock. There's more coins. Oh, that was a long way down. Revelio. Oh. Up here. Hang on, I can hear. I can hear something. I should investigate. I'm so excited what this leads to. Rebellion. Oh no, I went the wrong way. Hang on. Oh, it's up here. <gasps> Uh Hang on a second. Pavelia. Oh, okay, we'll just <laughs> avoid those goblins. Oh my god. This is never ending. <laughs> A Niffler. It wasn't Catherine Haggerty after all. I knew it! Where is it? Oh, this is their big tree right here. Okay, where's the Niffler? Oh, what's all this up here? Haggerty family heirloom. I got it. Do I need to capture the Niffler or anything? Oh my god, there he is! Hello. You're coming to my vivarium. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. I love it. I wonder it. how Mr. Haggerty will take this news. His sister wasn't the thief and his early was coming home. The Irondale Pilfer. I love it. Right, let's go back to him. He's gonna feel pretty sheepish now. She's rolling in her grave, she is. I have some good news, Mr. Haggerty. I unmasked your thief. Nothing to unmask, was there? We all know that the thief was my sister, Catherine. Actually, sir, the thief was a niffler. It, it, a what? You know, small, <gasps> furry, pilfering. I followed it to its lair. Catelyn was the only one who knew how to get into our homes. Where to find our treasures. But I suppose 
mangy little blighter. Well, if you found the Niffler's lair, as you say, you must have found my heirloom. As a matter of fact, I did. Thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Catherine's a disappointment for certain, but I never wanted to believe she was behind this. Yeah, you now, did. thanks to you, I won't have to. What a strange world we live in. Suppose they can't send a Niffler to Azkaban. No. At least I got my heirloom back. Oh my god, he was gonna send his own sister to Azkaban with like no proof. What an arse. Right, let's go set our Niffler free. Okay, where's the other Niffler that I caught? Oh my god, you guys are so cute. I love you. I love you. Oh, I see the Niffler. Hey, I brought you a friend. I did. I brought you a friend. Beast limit reached. Um, okay, let me... Hang on. Settle yourself, I mean you no harm. Let me take two moon calves. Okay. So, where's the other Niffler? There! Oh, you guys are gonna be friends. You have company now. Enjoy. Um, right, so I will put the other two moon calves actually in the swamp because they like nighttime, don't they? Um, I just, I don't want any animal to like be on its own. Marvelous improvements here. You know, that would make me sad. So let's put the moon calves in here. Hey guys! Are you happy? You look kind of scared. Are you okay? You can do your moon dance here. Are you, are you happy? I think they're happy. Okay. <laughs> right, so I'm going to take a little break. I've been recording for a very, very, very long time. It might be dark when I get back, so don't be scared if the lighting hugely changes or something. Okay, I'm back from my break. Let's get back into it. Okay, so I think I'm going to work from the Forbidden Forest kind of across the map and just finish off what's left now. So yeah, I guess there's just these two here in the Forbidden Forest. So let's do that. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Shut up. Oh my gosh, she's so annoying. Bardo Beaumont should have returned by now. Oh, that was actually that woman that we talked to before for Serona. Oh, hang on. I've only got one. I was wondering why I couldn't hear properly. I've only got one earbud in. Shane Bardolf thought dark magic was the answer. I reckon Rookwood's played a hand in his disappearance. Ooh. Yeah, this is the woman um, where we went to get Serona's letters in her cave. That sounded a bit weird, but you know what I mean. Excuse me, did you say something about a bard of Beaumont? Oh, hello again. How nice to see you. And yes, I did. I was just worrying about Claire Beaumont's brother, Bardolf. Only he's gone missing. Rumour is he was seen in the forest practising dark magic. Saw him myself near some ruins with Rookwood's lot I did. I fear he got himself into trouble with the Ashwinders, especially if he made them a promise he couldn't keep. I'd help search for him myself, but no one will risk encountering Ranrock's loyalists. They seem to be everywhere. I can certainly look out for him. Any help would be appreciated. You might speak to Claire first. Perhaps she has some insights that I don't. I can tell you that Bardolf was last seen in the forest wearing a particular woolen jumper, one that Claire knitted herself. Okay. Claire will be at her shop if you'd like to speak with her. 
Right, so is that this person here? Up a Hogsfield is being terrorised by Ranrock's loyalists. It's not right. Uh, okay, so there's a side quest with her and we can get information for the other side quest. Madame Beaumont, might I speak with you? Yes, what about? Mrs. Sprottle told me a little about your brother's disappearance. Oh, dear Dorothy. She'd go looking for Bardolph herself if she could. Why can't she? <laughs> no, but like, that's a genuine question. Why can't she? She mentioned dark magic and even the Ashwinders. Despite my repeated warnings, Bardolph's been experimenting with dark magic near the edge of the forest. I thought perhaps he'd get it out of his system and it would gradually stop. But then one day, he didn't come home. I'll let you know if I see or hear anything about him. Thank you. How kind. I'd be so grateful to learn where he is. I know in my heart he's out there. Do be careful. I should be going now. Thank you. Oh, we'll find him. Where are you? I should investigate. Okay, if we can just try and sneak past them. Oh, there's an empty cage here. Was it the Jobbernal? Oh, maybe this was a poacher camp and they had caught a Jobbernal. Um, <gasps> and the Jobbernal is free now. I hope. Right, journal entry one of two. I hate that I'm afraid, but there's no going back. I seem to have mastered two of the curses so far, but I've had to pledge to do their bidding if I'm to learn more. The Inferi, oh no, is this like a similar thing that Sebastian did? I can't let them see my fear. They're already whispering behind my back. Oh no, is this the Ashwinders? Yeah, yeah, okay, the Ashwinders. I've been told not to trust dark wizards, but I can't stop until I have enough magic to protect Claire, myself, and all of Upper Hogsfield. Bardolph. An entry from Bardolph's journal. He overheard whispers. A plan. Something to do with him. Revelio. Right. So... Is there a second one somewhere? Pavelia. Oh, look at the Jobbernals flying around. <laughs> oh, what's this? Yes, journal entry two of two. I'm repulsed by what I have just witnessed. They have created an inferius, a corpse mutilated come to life. I tried to hide my horror at what I was seeing. Alas, I think they saw through me. I need to convince them I am not a spy. I am not here to undermine them. If I do not, I fear I could be next. This mentions inferi and something about it being Bardol's turn next. Yikes. Okay, I'm not sure what to do next now. Pavelia. Oh! Hello! You're so pretty. that uh 
the Inferius was wearing Bardolph's jumper. Oh, sorry, I didn't hit him with fire. That's why he ain't dying. Want to know what really happened to him? <gasps> oh my god! So he was turned into an inferi? Oh, that's horrible. Or I presume, are they trying to say that, like, the Ashwinders killed him? And then, you know, his corpse was reanimated amongst others to make the Inferi or something. Oh my god, that's so horrible. I can't believe it. Madame Beaumont, I do have some news of your brother. Oh, please tell me he's safe. Look, I, I believe in being honest. The truth hurts, but people have a right to know the truth, so. I regret to say that Bardolf had been turned into an Inferius, and I had to kill him. What? But, but how could you possibly think that an Inferius was my brother Bardolf? That's absurd! He was wearing a woolen jumper, hand-knitted. <gasps> no! No! This can't be! I'm truly sorry. I wish it had been better news. I wish you well, Madame Beaumont. <laughs> what more could I have done? Oh, Bardolf! <laughs> the way her face just, like, went back to Bardolf. normal there. My dear, dear brother! Sorry, that was kind of funny where she was like, oh, Bardolf! <laughs> oh dear, they could have animated that a bit better now. Upper Hogsfield is being terrorized by Ranrock loyalists. It's not- I couldn't help it over here. Did you mention Ranrock's loyalists? I did. Oh, now she's fine. <laughs> My apologies. I've not been myself since we last met. Ranrock and his followers have set up camp here. No regard for our beloved Hamlet or our livelihoods. Ruthless. It's Ranrock I have to thank for losing Bardolf. If only I could somehow rid our Hamlet of these monsters. I'm simply at my wit's end. I'm unfortunately quite familiar with Ranrock's loyalists. Perhaps I can do something. Much as I would love to be rid of them, I wouldn't want you to risk injury or worse. Please be cautious. We should not have to live in fear. This is our home. Cool. I agree. So let's go kick their ass. It seems as though things are getting worse. Best be on my guard. Let's go. Hang on. Let me let me get my my business spells. There we go. Whoops. Getting a bit overexcited. <laughs> Just a little bit. human to worry about are you serious but like there's people walking right here one of Ranrock's camps exactly as Madame Beaumont described that's ridiculous Oh, 
A lot of goblins. You know what? I have a lot of ancient magic. I don't think you know who you're dealing with. I won't mess up. Too late for you to learn the error of your ways. I think that's one the wall. Down, one more to go. Oh, that cart's going on its own. Okay, but yeah, I don't get that. Like, all the other people were just walking by as normal, and the goblins weren't bothering them. So, I don't know. I guess the goblins only hate us for some reason. One less human to worry about. I've never seen a sword like it. Well done. Give it to me. This is just what the release of I won't rest. You're dead. Rubber up wine coming back this such arrogance. Someone's here. Well played. I'm not tired at all. I'm just not particularly bothered to put much effort into fighting you. <laughs> Them Both camps cleared. Madam Beaumont will be glad to hear that. Oh, I do miss the bustle of business. Hello, Madam Beaumont. Good news. I was able to clear out Ranrock's camps. You cleared them out? How? I managed to catch them off guard. Oh, I wish my brother could have done what you did. Perhaps he'd still be with me now. I'm especially grateful. You did for Bardolf what I could not. You saved our hamlet, my young friend. This will not be forgotten. I fear for other hamlets, truly. Ranrock and his lot are unlike any goblins I've ever seen. I should be going now. Thank you. Aww, oh, I feel so Thank bad you. for her you about her brother. My brother. Thank you. That was... That was a fate worse than death for him. That was horrible. Okay, so I don't think there's anything else in the Forbidden Forest. Um, so let's, let's go here and do this one. Wow, let's take in our last, um, our last kind of view of Hogwarts. So sad that uh, the game is almost over. I get really emotional, actually. Get really emotional. Okay, so, oh, is this this is another quest? Is this to do a jackdaw or something? I guess we'll see. Map with floating candles. I wonder if this is to do with Jackdaw. I can't exactly remember that far back. I guess we'll see. But it's another one of these flipping maps. Okay, well, it definitely looks like 
the forbidden forest, some kind of bridge, candles. Has this got to do with the, like the table and chairs? Like remember that thing I found at the start of the video where I was like, that looks like a romantic date. Cause this is called ghost of our love. Oh, maybe. Hmm, a map. I wonder where it leads. Okay, so I'm gonna head to the Forbidden Forest because I'm 100% sure that's where it is. Oh, who are you? Oh, who cares? Okay, so the bridge is down here. The stone... Isn't there a stone bridge? I'm not 100% sure. But where is that table? There. So are there any floating candles around here? There's a stone bridge. Right. Um, Let's get it. I don't see any candles. Okay, yeah, so sorry. Forbidden Forest, going to Forbidden Forest, Stone Bridge, Lumos, candles. Okay. Lumos. Let's get Lumos. Maybe I can only do it at night time. Hang on, let me switch to night time. Nobody will miss one measly little student. What the hell? That was so creepy. Right. Um. Oh, maybe it's a different bridge. Hmm. I'm gonna have to come back to this one. I can't. I can't figure this out. <laughs> Right, this guy here. Is there something I can help you with, Mr... Adley. Edgar Adley. Uh, no. No, I don't think so. Blast Milo and his mad schemes. Milo? He was my friend. Came to me a few days ago with a brilliant plan to make some quick galleons. All I had to do was follow him into the Forbidden Forest. Had I known he wanted to procure venom from a living Acromantula. Oh, poor Milo. He didn't deserve to go like that. I'm very sorry to hear about your friend. Oh, thank you. I can't think of it. Milo's body is still in that cave with the absconder. The absconder? Aye, oh, Milo's no, name for the Acromantula. He did have a flair for the dramatic. That's those really in big fact, spiders. As he died, Milo begged me to take his heirloom pocket watch so that his daughter would have something to remember him by. But I... I fled. Oh, let me guess. You want me to go in with the giant flipping spider and get his watch? If I have time, I can try to collect the heirloom watch, Mr. Adley. You can't possibly go to the Acromantula's cave. You'd be killed. Please, forget I said anything. <sighs> right, fine. Now, where could that Acromantula cave be? I don't want to know. Ugh. Stop. Stop away. Be somewhere in this maze. I wonder what else is in here. Probably a lot of flipping spiders. <gasps> Star. <gasps> Why are they charging around here like mad yoke? Just 
keep running. Just keep running. Oh. Right, just keep running. Why is why is there blood on my screen? Um Right, oh I've gone past it now. Oh for goodness sake, I've gone past it. Stop. Gone past it again. Oh my god. I am so stressed. This is my idea of what hell is like. Okay, it's gotta be this way then. This way down here. Yeah, now we're this going the right way. This could be the Acromantula cave Mr. Adley mentioned. Confringo. Stop. Oh my god. Do you think we can just avoid it? I'm pretty tempted to just try and avoid it. So this is the infamous absconder. Oh, for flip's sake, no. The objective is defeat the absconder. I think we have to. Right. time I fought one. Ooh. Great, okay, that actually wasn't that bad. Um, so find the heirloom. Where, where, where? I 
I need to bring this heirloom back to Mr. Adley. Okay. That was easy. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Let's head back to him. I can't imagine. Mr. Adley, I retrieved the heirloom pocket watch from Milo's body. <laughs> Merlin's beard! How did you? Actually, I, I don't want to know. I don't want to think about that Acromantula ever again. Thank you. Thank you very much. I'm glad Milo's daughter will have something to remember him by. I Aww. am too. As far-fetched as his schemes were, Milo was a good friend and I shall miss him. That's Please, sad. Uh, accept this reward for your trouble. I should be going now. Thank you. Milo can rest in peace now that his wishes have been fulfilled and his daughter has something to remember him by. Aww. Okay. So that one, that one wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I was moaning for nothing. <laughs> okay, and then... Oh, this is it here. <coughs> Can you help me? Hello? There's a voice coming from that well. Is it a voice from the well? Or it's a magical well. Is the well talking? <coughs> Can you help me? Is someone down there? Down there? Oh, beg your pardon. I'm here. <coughs> There's no one here but me. <coughs> Some thoughtless wretch casually tossed a bit of parchment into me and <coughs> he caught. Oh. If you could please take it. <coughs> Oh, okay. Oh, another flipping map. Are you joking? Right. Seems to be some sort of map. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. What a relief. I hope the map serves you well. Oh, at least better than it did me. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm glad we stopped the well from choking i guess uh but unfortunately we got another flipping map right so it's like a ca castle ruins with a bridge in between and that's where it is and there's some kind of a tree some kind of a tree okay this is where it is that's what it looks like on the map no, I'm going to leave that map for later as well. Uh, let's just keep going with the actual quests or we're going to be here all night. So here we go. Here's someone. It's like a place right out of a storybook. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ramrock and his loyalists will spare no one. They attacked you. Oh, Ramrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me. Struck me till I nearly passed out. Oh my god. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me. My paintings. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your carts. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here. Just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. We'll get it back. It was nice meeting you. I wish it had been under better circumstances. We'll absolutely get them back from. After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Orn. An encampment? This must be it. Looks as if there's more than one way to enter. Arn will regret not joining us. If he doesn't come round now, he'll be made even more of an example. Free the cards. The area's still clear. 
if anybody cares. Where'd they all go? Hello? Oh. They oh up there. Okay, but <sighs> that was quite something. Now to Freon's carts. Oh right, they're in here. Quite an enchantment. The carts are returning to Arn. Okay, and all his stuff is still on them. That's good. Right, so return to Arn. Ah, oh, we can follow the carts back. That's so cool. Whoop. Come on, guys, you're so slow. Arn, I have good news. Your carts are on their way back. I don't know what to say. Any hope I have of getting my belongings back was quickly fading. Ramrock's lot called me a fool for believing in the good in wizard kind. Thank you for proving them wrong. I managed to free your carts fairly easily. Oh, I'm glad you're all right. Oh, I can't wait to have my things back, especially my paints. <gasps> you know, you've inspired me. I've been dealing with... Witches and wizards for years, and we've always got along just fine. Perhaps my next piece will be a tribute to all that is good between us. Aww. What a nice idea, Ron. I wish you luck with it. Oh, I can't wait to get started. Uh, thank you again for all you've done. Aww. He's lovely. Cool. And then I think there's another quest. Ooh. Why am I? Excuse me, Gate. Excuse me. Uh, I think there's another. There's another quest. Yeah. Right here. Hello, Grace. Can I help you? Ah, yes. Summoner's Court. I thought I recognized you. I was hoping someone would come along soon. 
I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Sure. Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. Sure. It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have What's my grandfather's furlong? astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Hmm. Right, let's just get this over with. But yeah, what what is a furlong? I've never heard of that before in my life. The big squid better not be in here. Better not be. This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Right, but I assume I need a... <gasps> Oh, I got it. I should let Grace know that I found her family astrolabe. Was that it? Well, that wasn't that bad. As long as the giant squid isn't following me. Don't follow me. <laughs> Don't follow me. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible. Did you find the astrolabe? I did it. I'm keeping it. How mean would that be? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your calibre is certain to find all sorts of things down there. No thanks. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. No, thank you. Perfectly happy staying on land. No diving necessary. Okay, so these are the last two quests. So let's go here and do these. And then we just have to figure out those two freaking map quests. Now? Hmm, seems a pleasant enough little place. Right, it's always the vendors. I'd be terribly grateful if you could help me and my friend with a time-sensitive delivery. You sound as if you could use some help. Oh yes, I could. Eddie Thistlewood's the name. A dear friend of mine in Feldcroft is at his wit's end due to the relentless attacks on his hamlet by Ranrock and his loyalists. I sent two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages to help, but they've gone missing. You sent crates of cabbages? To battle Ranrock's loyalists. <laughs> I did indeed. You see, I know plants, and I believe the goblins will be so irritated by the onslaught of ferocious vegetation, they'll simply leave Feldcroft alone. Maybe. I wonder if you might track the two crates down and deliver their contents to my friend Bernard Indiae. I simply can't leave my shop at present. Sure. Very well, sir. 
I shall keep an eye out for two crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. Oh, thank you. I shall let Bernard know he might be receiving those cabbages after all. I should be going now. Thank you. I'm convinced that Feldcroft will be much safer with Chinese chomping cabbages defending them. Sounds like Feldcroft's in trouble. Perhaps I should try to help. Okay, so... Go to where the first crate of cabbages was spotted. That crate of Chinese chomping cabbages is somewhere in this camp. Ugh, bunch winders. Nora Treadwell, guardian. <gasps> I tell you this, Hogwarts is lucky they've got protection charms. They've is. got a beast. I can't decide what I enjoy more. It's on. I had a was flourishing the boat. Carlo never heard anyone who didn't deserve it. Woo! That's so dark there for a second. Whoa! Thin in our range. Dragon? Would you Let shut up and go. die? Beasts around here can sleep a bit easier now. What is that? Oh, it's not a dragon. It's some kind of beast. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna set it free. How do I? Oh, for goodness' sake! How do I open this cage? There's no lock on it. Okay, if I do that to this cage, will that work? I don't want to kill it. No, how do I, how do I get it out? That's one crate in hand. I only need one more. Okay, but how do I get the beast out? Is this, is this a task for later? I hope so. I'm coming back. I'm coming back for you. It won't be long now before we find another repository. I guess they don't know the game's I over. <laughs> I can see why Feldcroft needs- Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of ch That's all of the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Was this Sebastian and Anne's house? I wonder if there's anyone in here. No, this wasn't their house. Was this one? Yeah, this is their house. Oh my god. Sebastian, too much has happened. I needed to get away from here for a while. I miss Uncle Solomon. I need time. I will always love you, but I don't know if I can ever forgive you, Anne. That is so super sad. I'm still not over that. Okay, let's deliver his cabbages. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend, Eddie? Hello, Mr. Ndai. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. 
marvellous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. Happy to be of assistance. At last, some reinforcements. Hopefully this is enough to thwart the goblins. <laughs> it's just funny that the reinforcements are cabbages. Oh, a house elf. Hi. Is everything all right? If the Hamlet sent you here to talk to me about... about... I know what I have to do. It's not every day a girl has to put down her own troll. I should be allowed to work up to it. What do you mean, your own troll? I thought that's why you were here. I'm sorry. <sighs> I suppose if you spend enough time with trolls, you forget your manners. I'm Alexandra. I didn't mean to be short with you. With Ranrock's lot seemingly everywhere, I thought the Hamlet could use a bit more security. <sighs> but my plan has gone awry. I apologized when he almost trampled half the Hamlet yesterday. Jeez. He just needs more time. But everyone wants him gone. They think it's mad, my training a troll. Impossible, even. Well, clearly it was. I'm inclined to agree with them. Trolls are dangerous creatures. I know. I know. But I had to try. I suppose I understand why everyone's been so concerned. What made me think I could train him? I should have learned from Barnabas the Barmy. But he's my troll and my problem. I'll be honest. I'm afraid I won't be able to take care of him. He's stronger than any troll I've ever encountered. <sighs> I wish I knew someone else who could do it. We can do it. I'm not thrilled at the prospect, but I'll consider it. Oh, no. I didn't mean to suggest that you should do it. In fact, you should avoid the area just southwest of here. At least until I work up the courage to do what needs to be done. Great. We have to go fire the troll. Fun! Troll on the loose near a hamlet. That could be devastating. Go to the troll's den. It's really close. I take it you're Alexandra's friend. Okay, dispatch the troll. Flipendo, it's club. Oh, 
Oh god, okay. for Alexandra, but the hamlet needed to be saved from that troll. It did. I do, I feel bad though that it was like her pet though, or like she trained it. It's hard when you become attached to something. It's done, Alexandra. I took care of him. My troll? What? Oh, I don't know what to say. Thank you. I wish things could have turned out differently for him. Your whole training plan was doomed. Let's not stick the knife in, you know. There wasn't much he could have done. He was beyond training. Tried to kill me the entire time. Goodness. I'm glad you're all right. You're very brave. People in the hamlet had already crafted a moniker for whoever eventually defeated my... I mean, that troll. It was troll something or other. <laughs> Slayer? Vanquisher? Whisperer? Slayer? Yes, that was it. I suppose it's your title now. I need some time on my own. But truly, thank you for what you did. The Troll Slayer has a nice ring to it. It does, actually. Cool. Okay, so that was the final new quest. Uh, we didn't get to rescue that beast. I'm gonna go back. I don't think I can rescue this one. It's so upsetting. Why on earth would they do that? That's horrible. If you know how to rescue that, please let me know in the comments. Okay, so we just have our two maps left. The Forbidden Forest and this one. Okay, here's a windmill. So are there runes? Oh, I can't see, it's so dark. Hang on, I need to make it daylight because I can't see. Okay, so the windmill, there's a windmill there. The reason why I fast traveled here is because that kind of boggy bit looks a bit like this kind of <laughs> um okay so if we go to the other side of the windmill maybe there's a ruin there let's give it a go anyway Oh, hang on, so this is runes here. There's something oh. about that tree. Yes, this is it. This is the runes, the bridge, and this is the tree. And it said to use the feather, yeah. Let me use it. Interesting way to hide some treasure. Awesome. Oh my god, that was complete luck that I figured that out. 
Oh, I'm so happy. Okay, so now there's only the Forbidden Forest to figure out. Okay, so 100% it's saying Forbidden Forest. This is the entrance to the Forbidden Forest here. This is Flu Flame Lady. And then it's saying, have Lumos follow floating candles to the bridge as well. Is there any clues in the quest? The map portrays a forest bridge and candles. I put it into my bag for reference. Lumos. Allow me to put you out of your misery. Shut up. I don't see any floating candles. No, I'm completely stumped. I think I'm gonna have to look up even just, even just a hint, just a hint. Okay, so I only read a little bit and it basically says, cast Lumos as you approach the stone bridge and candles will spawn. That's what I was doing though. I had Lumos on when I was around the bridge and there was no candles so I don't know I guess I'll go try it again but you know I'm I'm calling bull on this nobody will miss one measly little student I'm calling bull where's the candles Hang on, this is a brick bridge. Is that different to stone? <laughs> Let's get it over, <sighs> shall we? Okay, so I think <laughs> I think I'm at the wrong bridge. I think that's what the problem is. That is, I can now see a brick bridge, not a stone bridge. I I think that's where I went wrong. Okay. So let me go back to the start and see if I can find a stone bridge. There's, oh for flip's sake, it's right there. <laughs> oh my God, I've just been making life difficult for myself. There we go. Candles. Wonder where they're heading. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. I'm good. so annoyed about this. How could I have been so stupid? The bridge was right in the front of me. The candles seem to be leading into the forbidden forest. Okay. Anyway, let's just let it go <laughs> and do this. Right. They've got to be leading to the date. The date place, right? Or maybe not. Yes, they are. Treasure I knew must it. be nearby. I suppose the picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. <laughs> Treasure hunting suits me. I knew it. I'm so annoyed. I had the wrong bridge the whole time. I'm so annoyed, but it's done now. Yay. <laughs> Did it. Okay, so that's everything. That's all the side quests and all the main things that I wanted to do on camera um, I might do a few more bits and pieces just myself but I think I'm going to leave the Hogwarts Legacy playthrough here. I'm so sad like I'm literally so sad because this game has been my absolute escapism for the past almost two months. 
I have enjoyed this game so so much. I do really hope that you have enjoyed watching it. If you enjoyed this playthrough please do consider liking, commenting or subscribing if you haven't already. I'm literally so sad this is over. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do without having Hogwarts Legacy to play. Thank you so so much for watching and I will see you in the next playthrough of a new game.